I bought this bag more than two weeks ago and ever since then I've been wearing it every single day because I really wanted to see what are some pluses and minuses of this bag, how I feel about it. So now that I feel I have enough data, I'm gonna give you my review, I'm gonna show you some outfits with this and also we're gonna check what can fit inside because this is a really really spacious bag so we're gonna cover absolutely everything. First I want to show you the bag in little bit more detail. As you know this one is the Pauline Syme in regular size and what I love about this bag is the shape. It looks so so stunning and this is the shape that I prefer to wear but then you can also because you have these little magnets which means you can wear the bag like this when everything is inside but you can also wear it open like so. And what I also appreciate is this nice little strap. I personally find it very, very cute. And I think it just adds a little bit something to the bag. When it comes to the logo, it's very minimal, which I love. It just has a gold little pauline on here. And from afar, you cannot really tell, which I personally prefer to have minimal hardware because then I find the bags a lot more versatile. I can wear them with my silver jewelry, rose gold, all of that. And then another thing that I love about this bag is the handles because it has top handles which I love wearing like this or I even wore it like this a lot and at first I thought that if the bag is too heavy this is not gonna work but honestly I had my bag full and this was still very comfortable to wear but then obviously you also have the shoulder straps which are amazing I love bags that you can wear in multiple different ways and now if we go inside I can show you the dust bag because this is the dust bag that came with the bag it's really nice quality it's really soft on the inside which it's amazing and what i personally love to do when i get dust bags and also the padding inside the bag usually bag comes stuffed with a paper and instead of throwing this paper away i actually put it inside the dust bag then i close it and i use this little combination to put inside my bag so it can hold the shape. And then if I want to put the bag in storage for some reason, I can take the paper out, put it directly in the bag, and then I can cover the bag with the dust bag. Also another thing that you get with this bag is the little pouch, which I think it's absolutely brilliant because this bag is like a really open vest space and so many things can get lost in here, but when you have a pouch like this, it's gonna help you organize your bag, which I really appreciate. As for the material, it has this nice little lining that I think looks really nice. And you can also see the shape on the inside because it's very, very unique. And then lastly, what you also have is the little clasp. It's a gold clasp that you can just put together at the top. I personally feel this bag is really, really amazing. And this is just a quick overview. I can also quickly show you how this bag compares to my other pulling bags in case you have any at home. So this is the sign bag and this is the Un Nano. <laughs> this one is so tiny compared to this bag, but I love both of them. And then I also have the Nuf Mini, which looks so, so gorgeous. I mean, I love pulling bags. So you can just have rough idea and comparison. Now that we covered the basics, I can share some minuses, some issues that I have with this bag. The first one is the class, because this one really, really surprised me. I think it was second or third day that I wore it. I looked at the clasp. I was sitting in the car, I opened the bag and I was like, I cannot believe how battered this clasp looks. I've worn it for two, three days, two, three times only. And I was so, so shocked. I would expect to see a wear and tear like this after months of wearing a bag. So maybe it just got bad really quickly and it's gonna stay this way for a really long time, but maybe it's gonna get even worse. I'm gonna have to update you on that because my other pulling bags, I feel they were just a lot more durable than this one. I can check both of them to kind of tell you. I feel the damage looks pretty similar even though I had this bag for months and months and months and I wore it loads. So this is the first thing that it's really surprising to me. And then the second minus that I have, it's not really for me, but in case you wanted to wear this bag open like this, I must say that the magnets are not that strong. I can do it like this, but then if I, I don't know, wear the bag, open the bag, oh, it's gonna go like this. And then you're gonna have this shape again, which I personally prefer this shape. So this is not really a minus for me, but I still wanted to mention it because I'm not sure how much work you have to do to keep this bag in this shape. That's something that I wanted to mention. And then also I wanted to mention that this bag 
doesn't have any feet on the bottom. I mean, I can see the point that it just looks a little bit prettier without the feet. So that's just a little bit of a minus, but then at the same time, did I really ruin a bag because it didn't have protective feet? Not really. And then the last issue that I have with this bag and I have to stand up to show you. It's something really funny that I didn't even expect to happen, but if you're wearing a bag like this and you wanna put it on your shoulder, you're gonna get stuck in the top handles. <laughs> so oftentimes you have to kind of, you know, put them down or use the other hand to put your bag on top. If you just do it like this, you can see you often get stuck with this top handle, which is really weird and it's kind of annoying just a little bit. Technically, maybe you could put the handles inside and then you could do it without any issues. But now let's play a little game. What can fit inside this bag? I'm gonna go around my house. I'm gonna grab everything that I think I could possibly bring with me in this bag. And then we're gonna see what I can actually put inside. Here is everything I could possibly think of to put inside this bag. And we're gonna go through some scenarios. Maybe Bali wants to join us because he can definitely fit inside this bag. He's so tiny and the bag is so huge. He's gonna help us with some scenarios, but first I wanna do the pouch because my idea for the pouch is that I, it's almost like an extra handbag. For example, you stuff the entire bag with everything that you need, but your essentials like your phone and wallet, all of that can go in here. So if you need to just grab the pouch and do some errands, you can do that. So let's go through this pile of stuff and grab my essentials. First, we have the phone. Then I also have my nice little wallet. I have the car keys and my home keys. And this is how the pouch looks. So I think I still have enough room to put maybe my lip balm in here and also my hand cream. So this is gonna be my essential pouch and it also keeps my bag just a little bit more organized. And then of course, I always take my wipes with me. So I'm also gonna add that. And then I have another pouch that I bought a long time ago. I have my glass cleaners in here, my headphones, some plasters. I have some feminine hygiene products. I have a nail file. So all of the essentials you might need when you're out and about. And I'm gonna add it to the bag. And then I also have the little mirror, which maybe I can put in the first pouch. Let me see. Yes. It does fit, so I'm just gonna add it to this pouch. This one is actually really, really surprisingly spacious. I love it. But now let's pretend I'm going on a nice little day trip, somewhere really, really nice, that I'm also gonna vlog, for example. So what I'm gonna take with me is my makeup pouch, which is this one. And first I have my SPF stick, then I have a lipstick to touch up. I have a perfume to touch up. I also have my concealer, the bronzer, and then a travel brush for my bronzer. And I can easily put it inside the bag. Then of course, I'm gonna need my vlogging camera with me. I'm also gonna take my sunnies. These are really nice and huge with a nice huge case. I think having a cardigan on a trip like that in case it gets colder is also very essential. And then lastly, I think I can take my Kindle with me in case I get a little bit bored. So this is scenario number one and how I would pack everything. As you can see, the bag is nice and full and it doesn't feel too heavy. But then I also remembered the water bottle. Just a second. This is my thermal water bottle and I think this would be amazing for a trip as well. And this is the final look for scenario number one. And let's do the clasp test. Can it close? Yes, it can, but barely because of the water bottle. I mean, I could maybe lay it down. You can see that the bag is completely closed. And then if I wanna carry it like this, let's also do this test. This is the best that I could do. It doesn't completely close if I show you up top, but it still holds the shape, which is fine. But now let's do the second scenario of let's say a work day. Again, we're starting with the essentials. But then the next thing that it's obviously going in is the laptop. This one is a 13 inch laptop but it also has the charger in here and I can easily put this inside. One thing to look out for here though is that you have to put it in the middle because of the shape of the bag. As you can see, the laptop has to be in the middle. And if I'm gonna do the work, I would usually take this one with me. Small planner is enough for me, but 
Some of you have been asking if this can be a work bag, so I'm gonna actually put my big planner in here so you can see how that would look. And let's say we have a pair of prescription glasses that I can also add in here. And this is the final result for the work bag. It can close, it's a little bit snug, but it can definitely close if I show you. Then if we do the other shape, this shape just doesn't hold, you see? As soon as I do this, yeah, okay, it's not gonna work. So maybe if I just have it open, we can do something like that. And this is how the bag will look. And now let's do another scenario. I'm thinking that we can do running errands the entire day. That would be the scenario number three. So what would I do for that? Let's say a book, in case you don't have a Kindle, because you can see there is a huge difference between the Kindle and the book. So. I'm gonna pretend I don't own a Kindle and I'm gonna put the book in. Then I'm also gonna add my small little planner with me because I think it's very useful if I wanna write some things down, if I'm waiting for something in the waiting room, for example. Then also I would bring a scarf with me because if the weather changes and I need it, I would take my sunglasses and of course I would take my water bottle. So this would be scenario number three, which again, Let's do the class test. This one is a little bit more bulky and it doesn't want to close, but I can still manage to do that. So you can see, but again, if I change the shape, oh, it's gonna stay, okay. So this works with this shape as well. No, now it's open. <laughs> I feel with this shape, you have to have everything very, very strategic. Otherwise it's not gonna work. But now lastly, let's do max items that I can put in here. So we're gonna really, really test this bag to the max. Again, we're starting with the essentials. We're gonna, of course, add the laptop. This one is a really bulky item. I'm also gonna add the little planner. I'm gonna add the Kindle, the cardigan, the sunglasses, my makeup pouch. I'm also gonna add the little hairbrush. Also, vlogging camera and a water bottle, <laughs> which I think Oh, now it's getting really heavy. The thing with this bag is that it's gonna get heavy before it's gonna get full. That is something to think about because if you really wanna stuff this bag, if you wanna put items like a water bottle and laptop and a planner, it's gonna get very, very heavy very quickly. So that's something to definitely think about because right now this bag feels really, really heavy and I don't think I can even close it. No, there is no way I'm gonna close it. So it's gonna be very open like this. But now that we covered all of the what fits inside, let's do some outfits. Here is a nice little outfit that I think looks so amazing. I love wearing this bag like this, which I didn't actually expect, but this is actually my preferred way of wearing the bag because I think it just looks super chic. And for reference, I'm 5'5 five five or 164 centimeters tall. And this is how bag looks on my frame. I think it's not too big. At the beginning, I wasn't sure, but now that I wore it a lot, I honestly feel it's the perfect size and I just love the black and white combo and how this handbag look but then if I put it on my shoulder it looks like this again from the front I just love this little shape and then from the side I think it's just such a stunning bag I think it looks so so gorgeous I love leather look especially next to the black items which I can show you how this would look with a black coat as well here is my black wool coat and you can see the handbag next to it I love playing with textures when I'm wearing all black items because you can get a little bit more contrast and this leather is so so stunning I love it but now I also want to play with the pouch just a little bit let's say you want to wear this separately maybe for a date night or something when you want to be a little bit more elegant. I wanted to show you a little look and I also put my nude heels on <laughs> and here we have the quality inspector as always. He likes the outfit, great. But this is how the pouch looks. It's not too big, it's not too small. Like I said, this pouch is surprisingly spacious. I have everything from my phone, my wallet, my keys, my lip balm, everything that I need in here, which is brilliant. And now for another variation, again, I'm wearing the same shoes, the same bottoms, everything, but I have the entire bag on me. So you can see how it looks with maybe heels if you're in work environment. And I think it just looks amazing. It looks very polished. It's a perfect work bag if you don't need to carry loads and loads of loads heavy stuff with you. I think it looks amazing. If you enjoyed the outfits and the review, I would really appreciate a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.